Welcome to The Rundown. The Department of Defense has made changes to the policy for transferring post-9-11 GI Bill education benefits to eligible family members. The policy change cancels the exceptions that had permitted sailors with 10 years of service who were unable to obligate for four additional years due to policies such as higher tenure to transfer benefits. A sailor must have at least six years of service and the ability to commit an additional four years of service to apply to transfer benefits. Sailors with more than 16 years of creditable service who have not completed the transfer eligibility by July 12, 2019 will not be able to transfer education benefits to eligible family members. For more information about the post-9-11 GI Bill changes, see NAVADMIN 170-18. And for more information on the DOD's policy, visit the website below. Summertime can be a lot of fun, but can also be a very stressful transitional period for Navy families with permanent change of station moves and deployments. But we've got some resources to make these transitions easier to manage. The Fleet and Family Support Center has numerous resources to help Navy families navigate a big move. Two of these programs are the Relocation Assistance Program and a sponsorship program that pairs you with someone of similar rank and family structure prior to your move. Military OneSource has a military deployment guide, which has information, tips, and checklists to help prepare for deployment, navigate life during deployment, and reintegrate after the return home. That's all for this week. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at USN People. You can listen to our collection of Sailor to Sailor podcasts at navy.mil slash CMP. For any questions or to sign up for our monthly newsletter, send us a message at usnpeople.fct at navy.mil. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 Tyler Preston. Thanks for watching.